Mr. Jordan has been alongside former Manchester United first team coach Rennie Mullenstein. Rennie, you've got about an hour's drive. Have you back home to Holland? Yep, correct. Just a nice drive. You've enjoyed it? Yeah, I have. I have, absolutely. I have. Tell me why you, 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 you made the effort to be here today. You mentioned in the break why it was so important for you to come on live with us today. I would have been here if Holland would have knocked out England. You know, not a problem at all. But I think if you sometimes make bold statements and they don't work out, you have to show up as well. And that's one of the reasons why I was more than happy to come on Luke's request. <laughs> Producer Luke got a hold of you because you predicted that Holland would knock out uh, England. They did not. One Dutchman who could well be on his way to England, uh, Rennie, is a lad you know. Um, uh, the Bologna striker, the Dutchman Joshua Zerksy. We understand that Manchester United are very close to sealing the deal. It could be a five-year deal. What do you think? Interesting, an interesting view. It's, a, it's obviously a young and upcoming player. He had, a, he got a few minutes on the pitch. Uh, the other game for Holland. He's a, he's a tall boy. Um, you know, strong, very, very skillful. You know what I mean? But it's, a, it's a little bit of a surprising sort of signing to me. I'm not saying because again, when people come from other leagues into the Premier League, it takes a time to settle, and not all the players do ever settle. You see Hoyland coming back in. You know what I mean? And he is not really yet there but again that's with young players so it's interesting to see how Zirixi, um is going to do that because I would have expected maybe United to go for a little bit more of a, an experienced striker. Okay we'll watch uh, for that one to go over the line. Alex Crook will be with me tomorrow morning in Berlin and we'll bring you all the very latest transfer news. What is this? Talk sport.